What's up guys, this is Raj Shivarev in the new video for you all back on YouTube. So, in the previous video I have shown you how you can find the position of your mouse at a given instant of time and at a given position. Okay, uh, you have to just use pi.gl dot position and without any parameter you just have to leave the parentheses um, empty and, and that function will give you the current position of your mouse in the form of coordinate, okay, in a chapel. But in this uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use those coordinates to click on a specific uh, specific place in the screen. Yes, in the screen. Uh, so first of all, we have to open our ideally. Now suppose that uh, what we wanna do is um, let's say we wanna open this image okay we wanna uh, click on this image not open we wanna click on this image so what we will do first um i will just import pi out of gy and uh, then i will write pi auto gui dot position now i will take my mouse to this place and i will enter now i got the position of i got the coordinates of here of this place okay so now i can use this coordinate now i will open script mode okay by pressing control plus n now here i will open i will import sorry import pi out of gui and uh, now now since we have these coordinates okay okay these are the coordinates 264 370 okay so we will assign two values x equals to x equals to what 264 and 370 okay these are the coordinates hmm. 264 now y equals to 370 okay these are the coordinates right these are the coordinates where we have to click now to click we have a function in pi auto gui so i will just write that function pi auto gui dot click okay it will perform a full click okay so here we have to just write x comma y and uh, let's save it first of all Um, let's say click that time now we will just uh, now first of all let me put my mouse here okay the mouse is here the uh, the image is here so let's run it The ideal is not responding, it will take some time. Oh. Let's do it again. This time it should run. The ideal is not responding here also now let me close ideally and now i will run it again oh sorry guys now this is our program and let's run it again did you see guys the mouse clicked on this image right the mouse clicked on this place not on the image okay the thing is that when the ideally was here, the mouse got from uh, move from here to here and click here. But that does not gonna change anything. 
that's how I put the idea here so that you can see that mouse actually got go to this point and clicks here so this is how you can um, click on a specific place in your screen now suppose that you don't wanna um, perform a whole click that means you don't wanna um, perform the whole click means uh, a whole click is actually a full click is actually pressing down mouse button and uh, and then the up the mouse button gets upward let's go to upward right I mean uh, then to perform uh, that kind of click we have this function but if you don't wanna perform that kind of click suppose that you just wanna um you just wanna click down and don't wanna release then what you will do is you will write here uh, you will write here mouse up mouse down sorry okay now you just have to save it and I'm gonna refresh it okay no attribute named mouse down right let me see so mouse down no attribute oh god oh man I always used to do these kind of mistakes here we have to capit here we have to type capital D not the small D okay now let's run it again okay let's run it again look uh, that thing just performed a mouse down that means if I um, this if I am doing this okay uh, remember guys that I am uh, I am moving the cursor now. The script has done its work, and now the mouse down click has been done. And uh, if I do something like this, it will go to here. So similarly, the mouse up up is also uh, like the mouse down, but in this case, the mouse will the mouse will release the click. Okay, and the uh, GUI dot click is nothing but the overall wrap of these two functions in in one function so now you know that you, how you can click on the on, on a specific place in the screen by using pi auto gui so uh, in the next video i'm gonna show you something more cool and more interesting and more easy actually so till the when i will post the next video um i don't know when i will post the next video but i will definitely post and uh, if you like my video, if you like the Pi Auto GUI, if you are a Python lover or a programming science, uh, computer lover, science lover, then please subscribe guys, then please subscribe to me because I need your help, I need you guys, because you are the only one who can make me something that, my, that someone can, you know, proud me. So if you like my video, then give it a thumbs up, and if you don't like my video, then give it a thumbs down, but I hope that you like my video, and... Uh, Please subscribe guys please so that you can uh, so that I can, I can make more videos for you and uh, till the next video goodbye